Welcome to Irish Football Fan TV with myself, Gerard Brown. I am here with Waterford FC manager Alan Reynolds after a 1 0 victory against St. Pat's at Richmond Park on the opening night of the season. As I mentioned there, Alan, a 1 0 victory away from home in the opening night of the season, you couldn't ask for a better start. Yeah, look, we're a new group, you know, we've a lot of players, eight fellas making their debut for us tonight. Um, some fellas arrived yesterday, some arrived earlier in the week. So to beat a team like St. Pat's here, who are really good side, really good players, you know, we're delighted with it. We rode our luck a lot of the time. Uh, got a goal at a good time and it gave us something to hold on to, so I'm delighted, delighted with the effort. Um, so it's a good start. You mentioned the eight debutants, one of them debutants was a dream debut, Kevin O'Connor scoring his debut. Yeah, he was, yeah, Kevin's, I suppose, one that's trying to rejuvenate himself and get his career back on track and I think we have a few of those, you know, we're asking we have forward and trying to ship him with goals, but I think we were all really good, you know, tonight. I thought they, in, in the sense that they worked hard, you know, we can be better on the ball. You praised the players' hunger and attitude coming into this game from the pre-season. That was certainly well tested in the last 20 minutes, half an hour, when St. Pat's came at you looking for that equaliser. Well, look, you know, as I said earlier, some of the lads don't know each other's name, but what we ask for is, I suppose, non-negotiables is they go and work hard and, and they don't pull out the tackles and they put their body in the line, etc. All the basic things in football. And that's a start for us, you know. So they've done that and they've done it well tonight. Um, and we'll try and build on that. Just looking ahead, of course, to next week and play Bowes. Uh, Will Fitzgerald didn't make the match day squad due to injury. Any likelihood that he'll be back fit to play some part next Friday? Yeah, we, look, he's no point in risking anyone. He probably went on the bench tonight, but no point in risking anyone at this stage. Um, we're hoping to add one or two more as well, just to give the lads a dig out because, you know, we've 18, you know, and a couple of injuries. But, um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm, you know, Will will come back and he'll do well. He's a super player. As mentioned, Bowes are home now next Friday night. Should be a great crowd with the RSC. They're not in action until tomorrow at home against Sharon Grover, so it gives you a good opportunity to weigh them up ahead of that game. Yeah, look, I'll, I'll go to that and have a look. But uh, they're a really good side again. Look, we, you know, any teams we play against, we'll give them the utmost respect. Um, but to come and beat a good St. Pat's team, you know, will help us and help the group uh, grow. This is your third win in a row now at Richmond Park. Do you wish you played here a bit more often? Yeah, well... I don't, I don't see us winning too many more if we play like that, you know, the, and we rode our luck, they were a better side than us tonight, but, you know, we got the win, we'll get back down the road. Three points, clean sheet, perfect Valentine's night. Adam Reynolds, thanks very much for joining us on Irish Football yeah. Fan TV.